know, sometimes I'm not in a great mood, and so I want to tell you guys what I do when I'm grumpy, which is I go online and I search for a certain type of YouTube videos. You've probably seen these. Um, they're the videos of children or adults getting their cochlear implants turned on. You've seen those, right? Um, they follow a very predictable pattern. Usually, uh, there's sort of a bunch of patter and people bumbling around, and then it comes on, and there's a kind of <gasps> And then everybody cries. They always cry. Uh, and usually, somebody's mom says, I love you. And, you know, they didn't have to choose between Doritos and that. <laughs> and what I want to say is that everything about YouTubing happy cyborgs is what capitalism offers. I just can't, I can't, you know, I, I know that people think that people who love capitalism are just calculators with charts and, um, and they're, they're, you know, unfeeling machines, but it's the opposite. It's, it's mothers saying I love you to their cyborg babies for the first time. That is the blessing of capitalism in any other time. That would have been a, a literal miracle, a blessing, a reason to start an entire religion when, when the lame walk, when the deaf hear. That was an unheard of magic, all of human history. And now it happens every day. Every audiologist is a saint. Capitalism is a blessing. Well, when I want to feel depressed, I look at a video or I search on social media for the tale of someone who can't afford penicillin. Or especially because pe penicillin was invented decades ago. And it was invented, one of the inventors was a socialist. He was also Canadian, we won't hold that against him. <laughs> but it was invented and intentionally, it was created without uh, a, pa a patent. It was created so that it would be to the benefit of the public good. And instead, what we have is penicillin is affordable around the world, but in the United States, it's so expensive. It's so expensive that people have to cut their, their, their doses and they put themselves in material harm. And that, to me, is the essence of what capitalism does when it's in, in these spheres where it shouldn't be.